Right, I've just turned on again for a bit. Just a couple of features I want to get on. The river's just coming into view down there. Up here, imagine it, 400 years ago, so they were chasing people, cutting them down. Sword fights were happening, daggers, stabbings. Um, oh, it would have been really, really nasty, especially if you were, imagine going along here and you were confronted by them. You know, how long have these stones been here? Did, were they witnesses? Because here is the grave of Balfour Stone. Here, Brigadier Barthold Balfour of the Dutch Brigade, who commanded the left wing of the General McKay's Red Ar Coat Army, was killed by one of the Jacobite Athol men. This stone is reputed to mark Balfour's grave. So they just buried him where they cut him down. It's big, isn't it? The Balfour Stone. There would have been a battle here, look, a skirmish. He could have been running, he could have been chased. And that's where they, this, imagine the hub of activity here with people, swords, people shouting, and, and nastiness, and blood. Oh, it would have been horrible. People in riot, imagine thousands of men coming down through here as well. They couldn't run down the river, could they? And apparently they were on this side. Because the one that leapt away got over the other side. Looks like there would have been structures here of some sort in the past. Now we're coming up to the charcoal place. It says danger because obviously they've got a hot kiln type thing there where they